see anybody on yet. Which gives me a great opportunity to just break out the guitar and sing a song that I heard early on in childhood. Once upon a time there was a man with knives and he stabbed all his wives. Why would they teach us that in first grade? I don't know. Yeah, that's probably something to do with the country. I don't know. Living out in the country, we learned a lot of cool songs. <laughs> hey, everybody. <clears throat> hey, Jason and Franklin and Random Crap and Paul and Monster and Todd and Jason again and Grateful Panic. Hey, good to see Grateful Panic in here. Chris, Two Two X Spud. Ah, oh, XL Spot, a nice. Outlaw knife music. <laughs> hey, John, good to see you. Hey, Alan, awesome to see you. Todd, good to see you. All right. Get the four max out here. Head out for a video earlier today. Let's see what else we can put out here for eye candy. Nothing unusual. Black Santa. Let's see if we can find something that's not Black Santa related. Did y'all see this one yet? I don't remember if I showed you guys this. No, y'all saw that one, but y'all didn't see the other one here. Let's get rid of the cold, not for permanently. Let's get rid of the cold steel for a little bit. Andrew, I had a great week. I had some really good stuff happen to me this week, so good stuff. <clears throat> Let's see who else came in. Hey, Sue, always nice to see you. Dun, dun, dun. Mateo's here, fantastic. All right. All right, y'all have seen this one. Let me just put this over here on the outskirts of town. And y'all have seen this one. I'm just going to put this out for eye candy. That Spartan. That Spartan Harzy with that Guardian Tactical Guardian Angel on there. One of my favorite knives. All right. And then, I don't think I showed you these guys. I may have showed you over there on Facebook, so a lot of y'all might have already seen this one. Again, I don't remember. I have knife, knife, nesia, and knife, -sha. Either way, however you want to pronounce it. I think it's pronounced both ways. There you go. This one. Y'all seen that one? I think I showed Facebook, but maybe not you guys. The Compass, Spartan Harzy. Got an awesome deal from a buddy. That was an awesome buddy deal. So, yeah, there we go there. Let's see. Audio weird for anybody else. Is it weird? I got the air conditioner off. We gotta turn up the audio. We turn it up a little bit. It's kind of tin can. I don't know how to fix that. I don't have a mic right now. I had to lend it out to somebody. My musician son. Hey Tim, good to see you. I'm not sure how to fix it here. No fan in the background. I don't think so. No, there's nothing going on in the background. I mean, my other computer fan, maybe. I don't think you could hear that. You were a member of the Real Guardian Angels. That's awesome. That's so cool. I didn't know that. That must have been scary and exciting and really cool. Speaking of deep preacher voice. I can try to do that. If you all have your seat, we'll be reading from the Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. And lo, upon the hill there was a mighty horse, and upon that horse was darkness. I no, no, no mother-in-law jokes tonight. She might be listening. I found out that she was listening the other night. If you're listening, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, we're not going to do that. <laughs> all right, so here's the deal. I, didn't have, I don't have hardly anything come in this week. I didn't have any knives come in. No piff came in, so I don't have a lot to talk about. I do have a couple, don't have a lot to show you guys. I have a couple things to talk about. Then we'll open the floor for questions and anniversaries, new business, old business. All right, let's see here. Do, do, do. All right. So happy that you can fancy a spotter. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's always cool. Now do Smeagol. I can't do Smeagol with a flip. I No, I can't do a good Smeagol. I would mess it up and 
and forever ruin my name. Hey, addicted to blades, two. All right, so I'm looking around. I thought maybe I had something come in. Oh, here's one thing. I don't know if y'all are in on this yet. We're still doing. We got a couple more days for the. Oh, let me turn that around. The 800 member Facebook giveaway. The box full of goodies, box full of knives and stuff. So if you're not a member over there on Facebook, get over there, check it out, and enter that giveaway. If you're a member and you haven't entered, it's really easy. Just leave a comment on that post. I'm just scanning the scanning the room here. I don't see anything fantastic that's come in. So what I might do is I do have that sharpener. Here's what happened. Remember when my loving wife forced me to cut the brick with the Formax? The Formax Scout, the new DLT version. Here's that poor unfortunate soul here. So I was, I took that new Canonian Work Sharp belt grinder tool to it, and I sharpened it up. But it didn't sharpen. I'm not that good at it. But it was kind of. Anyways, I made a video. Y'all see the video. But between that and my KME. This thing is now shaving sharp again, and it's just got one teensy little nick that's probably imperceptible on my potato camera, but it came out awesome. So this thing is really shaving sharp right now. Let's see, I'll show you real quick. So, and I didn't even use, I, I started out all wrong. I was all wrong on the belt I started out on. I started out on like the third, check that out. So it came out really well. So it's never hopeless. Your blade is never hopeless unless it's just broken half and stuff. Yes, Franklin, he's right. It's ready to, hey, Eggie Spud gets it. Charlie won't serve. It's ready to smash into more bricks for sure. All right. Now remember, my wife isn't here to help me read the text. So I'm going to keep trying to stay up with you guys in your chat as much as possible. Still having nightmares about the brick episode. Oh, me too. But since I got it fixed, it's not, not too horrible. Hey, Therapeutic Edge. Pete's here. Excellent. Oh, Women Carry Knives came in. Hey, how you doing, Christine? Very good. Let's see. Two, two, five, six minute glitch. You know, I was going to start five minutes earlier. I didn't have enough old kindergarten songs to sing before everybody would show up. I should have done that. I should have started five minutes earlier. Just left a note. That's what we were doing. But then I went. I didn't trust the mute on my my microphone, and I'm cussing at the cat and dropping all these weird curse words that maybe I made up, maybe I didn't, and then didn't, didn't, I lose all the subs. Every week, Raphael, the live feed stops like at five minutes. So it just kicks out after five minutes I don't I don't know why so that's how that happened what can we talk about we could talk about what's going on if y'all checked out what's going on with metal complex and what's going on on his channel it's kind of messed up some stuff over there I don't know what y'all's thoughts and theories on that are here's my theory on what's going on I think somebody has it in vendetta or something against him and may have turned him in and felt triggered or something by his knives, something like that. I just don't see them just dumping him for no reason without somebody complaining. So that's my theory. Somebody, jealousy or pettiness or you know how it goes, just went over there and tried to run him down a little bit. So, oh no, I ripped my sticker. Gonna have to get a new one of those. So I'm hoping it all comes back around for him. It's that you know, I don't think he's getting rich by the ad revenue, but it still still bites that he's losing it. You know, if they, they took away my ad revenue, I'm not sure what I'd do without the tens of dollars I get. But, you know, someone with a larger channel like that, that's not a huge chunk, you know, and like he says, he has other places that he's getting his money from, but still, it's like taking money out of your pocket that you weren't expecting. So that bites. It's like you're getting paid less for doing the same job that you were already doing. Even if it's a little bit less, it's still kind of 
gets on your nerves, makes you frustrating. And especially when they don't say anything, when they don't, they don't give you any kind of explanation that's reasonable. <clears throat> so it's just insane what's going on over there. I made a video about it. I'm not sure I'm going to release it, but I, I talked to Metal Complex and he, he said to go ahead and do it, but I don't know. I don't want to get him in any more trouble. Try to be interesting tonight. I'm at work and I'll be mostly unable to comment, but I can listen tonight and entertain me. All right, so everybody, say some interesting stuff to Doc and I will read it back to him. You know, if you got some excellent quips or stories, I will tell you. The camera looks a little out of focus. Is it just me? I don't know. It might be here. I might have some fingerprints or something on there. Take off the smudges here. Is that better? It just may not be a good camera. I need to upgrade my equipment. Every time I go to upgrade my equipment, there's something for sale that that's not a camera. It's usually a knife. <clears throat> hey MJ welcome welcome from New Hampshire the real MJ how you liking it up there check my resolution uh, I am losing weight I have been exercising more uh, I'm not saying as many hateful things to my neighbors I'm praying every day oh on the camera sorry <laughs> I was way off there all right, let me check. Where would I check that? I'm afraid if I check it, though, I'm going to lose everything. Yeah, YouTube's taking down knife videos like they were gun videos. And... Oh, it defaults to low res. Oh, see, I'm afraid if I change it, though. I've done that before, try to change something, then I'm lost. And then I start another stream, and everybody's still on the old stream. Meanwhile, I'm looking pretty over here, but I'm talking to myself. Oh, check your resolution if you're watching, not broadcast. Okay. That may be it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, John. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate it. I'm glad I don't work this late. The type of work I would do would put me to sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that night shift stuff is, is crazy. All right. So, we talked about Metal Complex. I, don't, I know most of you guys are subscribed to him, but if not, go say something nice to him and you know, give give the man the finger. Not metal complex, the man, but you know, like the man, the 1960s, the man. <clears throat> yeah, knife videos. Knife videos are leading us astray, taking the country downhill. You know, if he's getting busted for the stuff he does, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I'm not a big channel, but I'm just waiting for. The uh, stupid things I do to get get me in trouble, but it wasn't his videos. Oh, okay. What was it? Like you can't tell nobody. Maybe you could whisper it to me over on Facebook, and then both of us would know. And yes, Cesar, I'm 30 minutes early tonight. So there, that's all I got. 30 minutes, a, a little bit early. I was my wife was supposed to do the live stream with me tonight. That's why I announced it. I announced it because I can usually banter back and forth with her and have fun. And then she got kind of sick, and so she didn't feel up to it. And now I'm gonna be forced to show you awesome tricks like this. All right, see, five seconds off the show. Show off El Chapo. All right, I can get El Chapo. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run El Chapo. And did I tell you that my dad gave me that El Chapo that I gave him for his birthday? Yeah. What did Monster say? See? Oh, it's his affiliate links. Oh, great. I'm dumped, been dumped by most of my affiliates, so I'm safe. No, <laughs> What was he linking to? Just regular knife stuff or crazy stuff? I've never checked out his links. Boot knife time. I thought that's what he said. Okay, well that's that's still upsetting. Oh, booty knife time, not boot knife time. <laughs> I don't even know where booty knife is anymore. I had it hidden away. Then I showed my mom. 
she was not impressed with booty knife. I think she tried to stab me with booty knife. Which, if you got to be stabbed, take it with booty knife or that Frazetta other body part knife. Yeah, I don't know where booty knife lives anymore. Man, this knife drawer is a mess. You know, uh, we didn't make... Oh, we didn't... Oh, I gotta check something real quick. Oh, wonder why... No, fair not. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I can't do it right now. I don't have any help. I have no help. I haven't used the crazy Dow Strong that... I was trying... I was thinking about giving it to my dad since he let me have my... that El Chapo back. See, we had this thing between me and my dad, and it started with my dad and my brother. My brother has this thing where he'll walk in and just kind of slide in and see stuff that you have. Not that he needs stuff. You know, he has enough money or whatever, but he'll be like, hey, use that much? <laughs> so, now I do that to my dad every time, you know, I think about I want some of his or I'm just joking with him. But I called him about that El Chapo because I was thinking about getting another one and I figured if he wasn't using it, I would just... Uh, ask him for his so I asked him and I was like hey you using that El Chapo much and he's not it just wasn't his kind of blade he liked the way it looked and stuff it wasn't his kind of blade so he just gave it back to me but I'm I'm thinking about giving him one of these Dow Strongs I got sitting over here Nathan's knives came in hello awesome fantastic Nathan I still gotta get you that knife don't have, don't I'll get back to you on Facebook but yeah I just it's been one of those weeks booty and Mo I can show you where Momo is no, I can't. I mean, you're lied about Momo. Oh, there's, there's Momo. Momo is always within reach. The Boker Momo. Maybe I'll go talk to Boker at Blade Show. Tell him it's time. It's time for the Momo. I wouldn't mind a Blade or a Boker making me up. The Jimmy Slash Boker Momo. This thing is actually, I mean, I know I've told a bunch of you guys, super useful feeling. This grip on that skinny little blade just gives you so much freaking uh, just leverage. It just would feel awesome. So I like it. One time Bear Grill asked his camera crew and some producers about being survivors and he drank his own pee so he didn't thirst to death. Right there on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Doc's bringing the, the Bear Grillis thing back. <laughs> Bear Grillis did drink his own pee and he also squeezed out some elephant poop. For the pee that was in the elephant poop. I saw that. Saw that. It was pretty horrible. I'm not sure if not dying is, is worth that. Worth that, be, worth that being out there. But yeah, Bear Grill is a bad dude. Really wants to live. He wants to live a long time. So. <laughs> I, I mean, I've never been that thirsty, but. I'm not really sure I want to live that long. If a channel's demonetized or a weapon, it feels like we're all doomed. Yeah. Remember at Blade Show, keep pushing for Spartan XL. Definitely, yeah. Come by the Cold Steel booth and ask. Okay, folks, pocket check. That's a good idea. John, what you got? What's everybody got in their pocket? I'm gonna, You go up top right here. I'm going to get El Chapo, and I'm going to show you something. So I can stutter. Hold on. Here's my El Chapo, well used, well seasoned, and as much of use as I put on this thing and beatings I put on this thing, let's see, is there any nicks in there? No nicks, no nicks in the blade. Still really, really sharp, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put an extra little sharp edge on here and show you all that work sharp thing really quick in a bit here. Let's see what everybody else is carrying. Da, da, da. Pair of three lightweight. Shot show mini freak. I always hate people get shot show stuff. I want to shot show something. I always want to go to shot show, but you gotta be connected. The ADV Mini Pathfinder. Pete's carrying that Pro Tech he showed over on Facebook. Are you really carrying El Chapo? Dad EDC? That's cool. 
It'd be cool, Peter. <laughs> you have a big old chef like holster down there to grab out of thing. Whole gritter, sheepdog, the wee banter. That's a good one. It's a good fidget knife. Desert Warrior, Kershaw Launch One, and a Victorinox Tanker. Cool. Daddy left us. Daddy left us. Where'd Daddy leave you? Like at the gas station? Is that what you mean? I don't know. I must have missed something. Are you, ta are you talking about me? Yeah, this one's been used a lot. I mean, this is my number one go-to food, brisket, any kind of good shopping I need to get done. This thing is awesome. Man, Pete, you had me. I thought maybe something happened and I would missed it and I was going to have to be sad and I was trying not to make a joke. <laughs> ah, it's so weird. All right, so what I was going to do is I was going to pull that out, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if I need to. This thing is still pretty sharp. Let's see. Let's pull another coupon out. See how sharp this thing is. Orange Alox Pioneer Vanquist Dukes. Oh yeah, the Dukes is awesome. That's a good knife. Your daddy daddy. You might be able to use a little edge there. I don't know if I'm good enough to sharpen that up, but I got the wrong belt on there and stuff. I got the grinder belt. I was thinking there were some chips on this thing. Let's pitch your El Chapo versus... Oh, no way. That obliterator, yeah. Shoot. My El Chapo in one hand, obliterator in the other. But you better have a big old arm, like a leg size arm, to do a lot of work with that obliterator. Was that three or four pounds? Things awesome. Hey, go look at flagpole. Good to see you. All right, I'm gonna break this out just real quick, just to show you guys. So, oh, it's not got the super sharp or super rough blade thing on there. I had to twitch it up. So this thing, you know, I get on the lefties for whining a lot because I'm a lefty, and most knives are lefty friendly even though they're not lefty friendly they're compatible if you just get used to it but this thing if this thing was left-handed would be a lot better if they had a left-handed version of this that way I could draw with my left hand and hold the trigger down with my right that's the one issue I have but I'm good enough with the right that I can sharpen this thing now I'm gonna turn this on I'm gonna mute my thing real quick so you don't have to listen to the horrible sounds but I'm gonna see what we can do just real quick, let's see what the edge is on here. 22. Let's go to 20. 25. Let's see what we can do with a 25. I just want to show you real quick what this thing can do here. It's on 25. Just about. All right. All right, let me mute this. You could, yeah, you can lock it on. I just hate to, but then you have to switch it around, I guess. I guess that would work, but it, I can't figure out how to lock it at the one speed. I mean, you have to really get that thing burning for it to lock in. You can lock it at, you can lock it at normal speed, like a, a clicky speed like that. Unless I'm just not doing it right. But I'll read your comments in a sec. I just want to do this real quick before I deafen you guys. Oh, and if I'm doing it wrong, just hold on a second. Wait till I'm done, and then I seriously, you can leave me some notes on how to do it better, and that'd be awesome because I am definitely not a super expert. At this. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other side real quick. All 
Okay, this is the first like flat blade that I've done. So there's no point that you have to worry about mangling. I kind of started warping the the tip on that Formax Scout, and so I had to clean it up with my KME, which it did nicely. And, and the grinder part of this got those chips out really easily, so that wasn't an issue. And then I went back and I did another knife, and it's just a matter of getting used to this thing. But you got to get used to this knife. And the reason I used the Scout is because it was already dinged up to, to no no good, and I wasn't worried about making it worse. But start with some cheapy knives, buy you about 10, 15 Ozark trails or whatever, five or six of those, and go out and try and learn this thing. But this thing is awesome. It really is awesome. The blood, the gore, what happened? Say goodbye to his fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not that, not really super scary. It just makes a lot of noise. Same launch. Dun -dun. All right, so let's see if this, it just definitely took all those marks off of there. Oh, looks like I dulled it up. Nice. Look at him be stupid on TV. Remember when it was sharp a minute ago? It's not sharp anymore. There it goes. <laughs> Remember when it could cut things before I sharpened it? <laughs> I should try these things out before I try them live, right? So <laughs> it's not necessarily super sharp right now, but you can see where if you got the if you got the the hang of this thing, this thing works really quickly. And if you're in a hurry, you're not even in a hurry, but maybe sharpening isn't your zen like it is for a lot of people. This thing will this thing will definitely work on getting you an edge. So I don't know, I like it a lot. And I, I would definitely I already did I did a video on it, so I'll be putting that out this week, but I definitely would recommend it. If you've been thinking about getting this and you have a need for it, you know, you got a bunch of knives that you gotta keep sharp or kitchen knives or whatever, definitely. Strop it. Oh, I'll strop it real quick. Let me grab my trusty strop. And we'll go from there. So, we didn't get a winner on the... The... Oh, what's the... Tactical Edge Dad. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Ted. We'll just call him Ted. We didn't get enough subscribers for that. I think I'm going to do a winter giveaway anyways. What do y'all think? Well, we just do the regular winter giveaway this week. Yeah, you can really mumble up a blade really fast with this thing. Definitely. Yeah, he has a nice cleaver. I think I have that cleaver. I have both of those, these cleavers, and I like, I like this one a little bit better. Just because it's... I don't think the SE one is any more useful this one's a little bit lighter and I like the way this thing you can grip onto it a little better but I it's not bad I mean the SE cleaver is awesome it's just I like this one a little bit better <clears throat> yeah SE does have an awesome warranty you know you can go through a lot of hobo femurs with the SE one so. oh good call good call see there you go all I needed was a little strop a little strobbing. There we go. All right. So there you go. A couple passes through the tin onion and a few strops on each side, and you're good to hook. All right. Let me see. Says SE cleaver. Let me see if I can find that thing. Oh, is there any chance in the world that this is the SE cleaver? There is a chance. <laughs> wow. All right. There we go. So here's that SE cleaver. I think this is the one you're talking about. This is the only SE cleaver I have, so if not, we're not lucky. Seriously, if you plan on using a lot, I would think about getting a good mask when you're sharpening on any belt sander. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I do have my glasses on, so, but yeah, a mask for sure. So here's that SE cleaver. Now this thing is definitely more monstrous in hand. It's it's just a different feeling. It's, it looks the same kind of through the back, but the thickness, look at how much steel you're still containing through here while you're getting all this carved off here. And you can definitely feel the heft back here. So 
I think if I had to go through a tree or an elephant bone or something huge, this thing would definitely put it hurting on it. I mean, it feels decent. It just as far as for cutting brisket and stuff, this thing's just more more kitchen knifey. I think this is more like outdoorsy super butcher. Yeah, I think that's Idaho. I don't know my states too well. I, it might be Idaho. <clears throat> yeah, and, and it's a little bit, a little bit thick in the handle. If you had a little bit, maybe a skinnier hand than me with a little bit longer fingers, that could wrap around a little bit better. I mean, this thing is awesome. I mean, I love this cleaver. It's just for usefulness, as far as what I'm using it for. This thing just makes uh, a lot more sense to me. But yeah, you're not going to go wrong. If you're looking for a monster cleaver, both of these are fun. And this thing's awesome too. I wish I had more use for it. I wish I had more use for a lot of my stuff. So, But yeah, this is definitely a, a good, good cleaver. And like he said, man, Essie. You can just do anything to those knives. Go check, out, go check out what you can do to those knives. And they'll take it back. They, they're awesome. That's why I never feel bad about buying something from Essie. It's just good stuff. Even like a OS 8 knife or something. It's, you know, they have that amazing warranty. And really cool people. Really great customer service. So, I foresee a Momo Cleaver coming. I wouldn't mind a Momo Cleaver. El Chapo for the zombie apocalypse. No, for the zombie apocalypse, you need El Chede. I don't know if I can get to El Chede, though. Oh, I'm breaking stuff. Oh, here's that bald man knife I'm fixing to give to my uncle for his birthday. I might re reconsider just because I don't know if I like him that much. I have another uncle that wants it. Maybe I'll give it to that uncle instead. Yeah, I can't find El Che. Oh, lost that. There's that. That's broken. Cat's dead. Oh, lost a finger. Alright, no El Che. What we can do is bring this one out. Look at this since we're out here. There we go. There's a Carruthers. I forget which that is. Field chopper, maybe? If y'all haven't checked out Bald Man stuff, awesome, awesome, nice guy, and really great next level knife making ability. <coughs> do, do, do. As he's ready to smash through elk pelvis. Yeah. I mean, I've never smashed through an elk pelvis, but. You know, if I had to with a clear, that that would be a good one to go with. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, Becky, good to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm picking up a Topps Armageddon next check. Can't wait. This is a Carruthers 3V, Delta 3V. They have their own 3V system. Delta 3V, and I think this is the Field Chopper. This is not the Behemoth. There's a bigger one. But this may be just the regular field chopper. Just an awesome, super awesome knife. Insanely. They make such good knives. Oh, it, it's just, they're custom knives, but they're, they feel professional. I mean, just like, there's nothing wrong with this knife. This is just an amazing knife. But I think he used to be a machinist or something. I don't know, an engineer, something crazy. Go, go check them out at their website. It's, you're going to spend a lot, but you know what? Kids don't need college. They can work a year. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good knife. It's awesome. It feels great in hand. Once again, I wish I had use for this. I need to get out more. Get out more and use my stuff. Why is the AD10 only $130 on Amazon? I don't know. A lot of people are discounting them. I think Amazon's got them discounted pretty low. It's all wrong for you. Send it to me. <laughs> I want the bald man pry bar in Mexican serape blanket pattern. Yeah, to me too. Definitely. I got an eagle lanyard bead from Bony Buddy in Russia. Oh, cool. I've never heard of Bony Buddy. But there's a lot of good Russian bead makers out there. 
why you make me buy cold steel thank you michael for the super chat you a bad man you know i just got to spread that pain you know i have this pain that i have to spread with everybody it's uh, the addiction it helps when others are addicted it's no fun to smoke alone it's awesome but i could not come close to just find that person yeah i mean yeah there's you're right it's, it's pretty expensive for, for, it's uh, I don't know I guess it's just what you choose to spend your money on if you saw my truck it's all beat up if you saw my clothes of course you know they're uh, they're not top of the line and <laughs> I, I, I spend my money on knives when I have it saw a doll strong cleaver that I liked which was it the humongous one there's I have a bunch of the Dahlstrom cleavers and they're all super awesome. The the obliterator is just obscene. It's just I can't even find a use for it. I'd have to buy two cutting boards and super glue them together to make sure it didn't go through it. But there's some other ones, some kitchen cleavers. I got the mini cleavers. I got the next sized one that that has like a swoop to it, so it's kind of like a, a little more swoopy than this. So it's maybe it's like kind of like that at the end I have that one that's a great one that's a great cleaver you aren't wearing Gucci skinny jeans no I don't have skinny anything so <laughs> the dirty knife life no this isn't dirty it's just it's just uh, are you talking about this one this one's just stained it's kind of like a what do you call it those pans I'm looking at right now. Cast iron. It's just stained. You can't wash that off. You'd have to sandblast that off. It's all flavor. Here, let me lick it for you. I don't know. I got no tongue. All right. If you could only have three folding knives the rest of your life, aside from the Formax and Formax Scout, what would they be? Ooh, that's a good question. If I could have any of them, I would go with the Shock, the CRKT Shock that I have. That thing's pretty amazing. I would want something that's indestructible like that. So I'd go with the shock and I'd probably grab a Colossus just to have something that's a little bit lighter and but still, you know, formidable in that four inch blade and then probably something monstrous from Cold Steel like the Spada XL, something like that. So we'll go with Spada XL, the shock, and the Colossus. Now, if I gotta stay away from cold steel, it's gonna be a whole different discussion. I might do a video on that. In a world where cold steel does not exist, one man. I could do that video. All right, let's see what else I got to look at here. So, did you, what'd y'all get in this week? Since I didn't get anything, I have to live vicariously through you and pretend that I'm one of you. Who am I gonna pretend to be this week? Last week I pretended to be Batman, but that was something totally different. And that was between me and my wife. That's different. That's not appropriate for this discussion. But what did y'all pretend? I mean, what did y'all get so I can pretend? If you're going to New York City, what do or can you care? I don't know. Not much. Not in the city, for sure. <clears throat> hey, Real MJ, thanks for being here. Good luck in New Hampshire there. Got that ProTech as well. That's a good, that's a good pickup. That's a pretty, I've always wanted that one with the uh, skull on there. Cold Steel, the movie star, Jimmy Slash. Yeah, there you go. The Recon Hawk is awesome. I gotta do a video on that. SR1 on the way. Pretty sure it's my fault. That's okay, I'm blaming it on other people too. That's cool. Desert Warrior, Kershaw Launch 1, Victorinox. Nice. Sierra KT Fossil. Oh, the Vef Serrations. I love Vef. I need a VEF on more stuff. DLT Four Max Scout Two Sons. Nice Andrew. Good stuff. Spiderco Mule. Five weeks ago. Are you in Europe? Are you? Is that why it's taking so long? Freeman Four Fifty One is awesome. I need to get another one. I sold all mine. I definitely wouldn't mind getting another one. Spiderco Mule. Do you own Swiss Army? I have a couple Swiss Army knives. You only want the shock for the leather smell. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Once the leather smell is gone. I'm Ditching the shock. Got a silky 10 inch foldable saw. Hey, there you go. I could use a saw outside. Take out the shrubberies. ZT620, that's nice. 
Spartan four and a half inch round. There you go. That's a good knife. The Spartan's awesome. Cold Steel XL Voyager Tanto. Nice. Stop being so violent to the like button. Just give it a tickle. Gentle caress. <laughs> yeah. Hit that button. Or don't hit it. Love my Recon Hawk. There you go. No lives. Knives. I'm allowing myself one a month. We all tell ourselves that back in the beginning. And then we end up buying two Formax Scouts on the same day. It happens. And nobody's judging you. Welcome to the club. Or the cult. Whatever, however you want to look at it. You don't have to shave your head. Unless you want to look like me. But nobody wants that, so don't shave your head. Life insurance. Couple of two sons. VEF are the only allowable stations. Yeah, they're awesome. They look pretty too, but they're so rippy. I bought them direct from Tucson off eBay. They give you free shipping from China. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. I like those long... I don't like them, but, you know, those long stretches of waiting. Then you forget that you got them, and they pop in. And you, all of a sudden, it's a good day. Bench made a Domus OD. Nice. Turn to Spyderco. This is number one for Don... Or, yeah, Doe. Doe John. Do you have the Xbox XL Black Blade? I do not. I don't have one of those. Yeah, the fancy spot is pretty cool. Zilch for John, I understand. Coastal Kiridashi, that's a cool little knife. Awesome little EDC. My wife judges me every time she sees the credit card statement. And that's why you don't. Why you volunteer to pay the bills, and all of a sudden you're like, ah. Uh, Hey, the electric bill is way up this month. We're going to have to eat tuna and ramen again. All right. All right, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to run over here. And I'm going to do the giveaway for this week so that we don't miss out on that. And remember, you have until Monday, Monday evening, to give me your information for the giveaway. Not very many people get through, so... I'm not sure what we're going to do about that, but we're going to keep going here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, random yawn comet picker. Let's go here. All right, content. Let's go here. All right, so take two seconds here. Just hold on one. No, it's more than two seconds, but almost two seconds. All right. Let's see. There's 60 comments. Let's see who the winner is. The winner is El Gato. El Gato, you are the winner. You said swags make some great design. So email me, jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com. Here's the deal, if you're in Europe, I'm going to have to send you some stickers and swag and envelope kind of thing. But if you're, of course, you're in the United States, I will get you the regular package. Ah, he tuna sticks for dinner night. Oh, man, that sounds good. My wife made me some, some, fish, some keto fish tacos. They were so awesome. It's so awesome. Just the best recipe. All right, let's see here. Dun, dun, just bills, he said. Hate the quality control on Benchmade. Yeah, it seems like they've gone downhill a little bit. Top of two ramen noodles are the bomb. Never tried those. Don't feel bad, it might be too much if I buy my next knife. Yeah, it's going to be white. What's a keto fish? No, it's a keto fish taco. So the taco is a keto the whole i guess all fish is keto though right so yeah it's tough to catch the keto fish <laughs> yeah geez the right bait <laughs> ain't nobody got no mr elgato domo arigato mr elgato domo hey rain thank you appreciate the 99 cents domo Domo Arigato, Mr. Elgato. My last year was Uber behind his time travel. <laughs> nice. It's like falling asleep in the car. Waking up and everybody's eating Wendy's. 
you didn't get none because they didn't want to wake you up. All right. All right, so I think that's it. I could never understand the words. <laughs> yeah, my son loves that song. It's weird. I know it's like 40 years old, but he loves that song. Okay, I think that's it for tonight. I don't have a lot to talk about. I don't want to keep dragging this out for you guys. We will, when I get more help, definitely next week we'll do a coupon winner. I have a coupon. Oh, that's right. For this one video, I've done a coupon. So if you, there's a coupon giveaway coming up, so go guess your coupons. And so that'll be sometime tomorrow or Sunday. Do you have a knife made out of CMV? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know what CMV is. Do you got any tie light cold steel knives? I do have a couple tie lights. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Becky. Is my 5 Max still for sale? No, it was for sale, though. Man, and it was close. Oh, just like within days of selling that thing, and he was only able to come up with the money, which kind of worked out for me because I was feeling kind of kind of blue about that. Don't, don't guess your coupons here. Guess them out in the comments on one of the videos. So it's going to be this one or another video between this and the you know, last videos. All right, that's it. You want to talk to me? Jimmy slash YouTube at Yahoo.com is the best way to email me as far as messaging or on Facebook. You can hit me up on my messaging over there. I answer that pretty frequently. Instagram is kind of iffy, but I'll eventually get around to there. Yes, the AC got fixed finally. Oh, man, it's, it's, a, it's kind of fixed. It's a nightmare. Y'all have a really good weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate y'all listening to me and being helpful and keeping it going. So I'll talk to y'all later.